Joe Rogan podcast. How was that? That's was, a massive platform, number yeah. one in the world. How was that feeling? Um, it, it was wild, man. It was. Um, I was, in, I was in Vegas, manager for me, said, uh, Joe wants to see the on his podcast, but he moved to Tex Texas, right? Mm -hmm. um, so he said, uh, come to come to, to, to um, Austin, Texas, and come to my show. Okay, him and Dave Chappelle was, was, was doing a show the night before, um, not, not before the podcast. I was like, oh, sick, Dave Chappelle. That's <laughs> class, man. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit, Greatest yeah. Greatest comedian all the time. Mate, mad. I was like, oh, yeah, sick, Dave Chappelle. So I went... Um, Went to, went, to, went to the comedy show, it was a great comedy show. Then I was like, I was, then he messaged me saying, nah, come backstage, Dave Dave wants to meet you. So I went backstage, this is like a mad night, bro. I went backstage and Dave was like, oh shit, you don't, you're the Kung Fu guy. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I grew up watching Dave Chappelle, you know, like in the black community, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. in the world anyway, but especially in the black community, like Dave Chappelle was like, legend. yeah, he's a legend, you know? And um, so yeah, it was a wild night, went in a, I'm um, just partying all night and then I had the podcast in the morning, you know. But like I said, to to do stuff like this, like they like Joe Rogan, meet Dave Chappelle, and to go back and tell the guys where I grew up, like where I grew up, or the guys, the kids in the gym, what I've done. This is all just motivation for them, you know. To like look, look what he's doing. Like I, I want to do that as well, you know. Even better, I want to be better than him, you know. And this this is what. This is what I want, you know. So it's a it's a mad life and a mad three sixty yeah. life. You know? Does that feel so real? Like because of the guests, like even speaking to yourself, I watch you yeah, fighting yeah. in the UFC. I watch yeah, a big like, UFC fan, and then it doesn't feel like it's, it becomes work, but it doesn't seem doesn't seem real. Yeah, like, it is, it's you mad. can feel a little fucking bubble. Yeah, for sure. I'm just scared <laughs> in case someone pops the bubble. Nah. It's like, and you're thinking, bro, I'm I went back out in Glasgow and I'm, I'm doing fuck over. Yeah, like, I'm the same. That's not works so hard. It's, all good. Yeah. it's like so surreal moment. Even yeah. that night, yeah, I was um, going to, go to after the party. It was like me in the car. Dave should, Joe Rogan's driving the car. Dave should probably in the front seat. <laughs> I'm behind Dave Chappelle, yeah. my, then my, uh, my manager. I was like, what the fuck? Is that, uh, how much David Chappelle just Joe Rogan driving to like after party yeah. right now, you know? It was like a, a surreal moment, you know? Were they two puffing like fuck? Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> because it's, I think it's legal there, anyway. Yeah, it's legal, it's legal, it's legal. Yeah, they love their weed, man. Yeah. Like that, yeah. Um, Where they stoned out their box. Yeah, the good lads, though, man. It's yeah. humble, you know? You think they'll be like big headed, and but they're not. They're all like good lads, you know? I think that's what I've taken away from them. Like, look, you can still be a good person. I met, I met guys before, like, the celebrities and just like dickheads and you know, all like the rude and the thing that they're big, you know, but like yeah, first with Dave anyway, he was like humble as fuck, you know. He's a fucking global superstar. Yeah, I know it's mad. So is Joe Rogan massive as well. Joe, you know. So yeah. you're sitting in the back seat thinking, what the fuck? Yeah, I think you what I said to man, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> how many he's driving like he's, uh, like a Tesla? He's like driving uh, his, Joe's driving his Tesla. Um Chappelle in the front seat and shit. I was like, mate, this is a mad night. It's a random night, you know. Was it cracking jokes, Chappelle, yeah, yeah, yeah. or was it just no? Nah, it was crack, cracking, cracking jokes in the car and just like it's like a normal guy, you know. I was like, mm. fuck, that's mad. Oh, that, that's sick. How was that? Because did you get what time was the podcast at one? Um, about one o'clock, and I got in about um, let's say about four or five o'clock. You I fucked. Like, oh, I was fucked. I was like, oh shit, I got to do the podcast in the morning, uh -huh. so I got to Joe Rogan. I was like having like fucking Red Bulls and coffees and just trying to stay up, you know. But it was a it was a good good podcast. Yeah, that's <laughs> a great fucking thing, man. Like that's next level. That's bigger than TV. Yeah, 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 for sure. He's like one of the biggest podcasts in the world. Oh, you know? he has the biggest. He, even his fucking studio, his studio is fucking amazing. You know, he got like a new one. I, I thought it was the one that he had before. We can like had like a gym in there and shit. I was like, oh, let's train. He's like, oh, no, my other studio, you know. Um, but yeah, even his studio is like because new, he nice. can scrap. Yeah, he yeah, can scrap yeah, as well, can't he? Yeah, he's good. He's like, we were showing him like psychics and shit and shit. He did taekwondo, I think he did yeah. for, like, for like years. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, he's a good guy, man.